sky And I know just what they found from now I just come up to Moree for one day and 30 years later I'm still here. I love the place. The sunsets in Moree, they're just beautiful around here. my heart so it flooded, stops and starts every time. In my life when I started doing my artwork, when I started doing carvings and that, and then I started to get into painting. really lucky to bring our kids up in a town like Moree. It's the perfect combination of a childhood in the bush with all the freedom and space that that affords, as well as having terrific access to activities like ballet, swimming, all sorts of things that are the same quality as what you'd find in a big city. What I love about being the Mayor of the Moree Plain Shire is actually representing our wonderful, wonderful people. We have this enormous, diverse community. We have 80 different nationalities living in Moree. We have a lot of big business. One of the things that I'm most proud of about the Moree Plain Shire, which is reflective upon our progress and our productivity, is in the fact that a lot of small towns were losing their banks and we were getting them. We have 10 banks in Moree. We have a population in the township of about 9,500. However, we have 10 full branch banks and that speaks volumes about the productivity of Moree Plain Shire. It also speaks volumes of the wealth of our wonderful, wonderful district. The Moree Plain Shire is a shire opportunity. We have great open space here for development, of large and small. We're a national transportation corridor we're looking at expanding our industrial and commercial zones to allow plenty of room for business to set up. They'll be able to have routes through to Sydney, Brisbane, by air, rail and road. New businesses or, or individuals looking to move to Moray, uh, our, our planning department within Council is here to help. We're here to assist and, and facilitate the planning processes to ensure that we get new developments happening in town, uh, the economy rolling uh, and, and really uh, keep momentum up. Uh, we live here too, so we're, we're really keen to see new development happen and the whole Shire prosper. We, we have flights to Sydney daily, so if you need to go to, to the city for something, um, you can do that very easily. One of the wonderful things about living in Moree is that 
is that everything's only five minutes away in your car. So, you know, in a single day, you sort of may exercise in the morning and go to work and then you'll exercise after work and then you'll go to somebody's place for dinner. So that, that will all fall into a day quite easily. And then somebody pointed out to me just recently, they said, you know, all these different, you know, sort of work and sports and committees and things that you're involved in in this town. Um, it would have been impossible for you to live that life in the city like you know it just wouldn't have, there wouldn't have been enough hours in the day but you know if you sort of to wander down Moray, the main street of Moray at 6 6 30 you just see so many people out on bikes or running or swimming or you know doing different things just getting involved Being a temperate climate, one of the great assets in Moree, every month of the year you can plant a broad acre crop here. Agricultural production in Moree comprises of the two big ones are our cotton crops, roughly 600,000 bales. Wheat crops, Moree can produce up to a million tonne a year in grain within 100 kilometres of Moree. This is a range of cash crops. Moree's greatest assets is its black soil plains. It's one of the few towns in Australia that you can go 100 kilometres in any direction and you're on beautiful black soil rolling plains. We have three large-scale horticultural industries, mainly citrus, pecans and olives. I think with the, with the security of water, there's a good potential to develop out the horticultural industry in Moree area. Yeah, many, many people ask why, why Moree? Well, Moree for growing pecans just happens to be the best place in the world to grow pecans. Um, the yield and production figures that we've achieved out of uh, Trawalla over the last 30 years are the highest on any pecan farm in the world today. Uh, and there's a lot of opportunity to expand that production uh, in, in Moree. It's one of the only areas on the east coast of Australia that overall hasn't lost rainfall. And hence, you know, if you look around the Shire, you'll find a lot of really good farming businesses and a lot of really good farm operators and very successful people.
provide um, a really very comprehensive range of um, health services for a, a rural town, including general surgery, a maternity service with a very good safety record, and um, emergency and inpatient care. The Mori Health Service um, has a history of being a very stable, it's had a stable workforce, and it's um, done very well to maintain quality and continuity of services where many other towns have, have lost that capacity. I've brought my family to, to Moria, I have a young family, and feel very confident in the local services that um, can provide healthcare if they require it. We have a, a good range of visiting specialists, um, as well as local doctors uh, who are very experienced. Moria benefits from a, a strong link to its supporting hospitals, including Tamworth um, and Newcastle Hospital, um, and uh, they have a very comprehensive helicopter retrieval service partly provided by Westpac. It has quite a sophisticated um, and large aged care facility um, called Fairview. It's community funded, community supported, and it includes a nursing home, a dementia unit, as well as retirement village type accommodation. A total of $12 million was recently spent to upgrade the high care facility. The staff at Fairview provide a, a number of activities for our residents, including bowls, bingo, uh, bus outings, art, craft, uh, happy hour, a hair salon and a cafe style coffee area. Mori has great educational opportunities for families with children of all ages. We have two public primary schools, a variety of childcare centres, as well as a number of preschools. In terms of high schools, we have a Christian school which caters for students till year 10, a Catholic school which also caters for year 10, and a public high school which has students from year 7 to 12. We have a huge amount of opportunities for children in high school ages amongst all the schools that Maury services. We've had great success with students in the past, we've achieved excellent HSC scores and we've had students who've gone on to become doctors, physiotherapists and lots of high-end professions. Because we are in a rural area, we attract a significant amount of government funding, so we are able to have our students participate in opportunities that many students in cities wouldn't get that opportunity to do so. A lot of it is fully funded and parents do have the opportunity for what most people would enjoy as a relatively cost-free education. All students have um, the opportunity to use both laptop computers, desktop computers as well as tablets. We also have a smart board in every classroom and our teachers are completely trained in the latest technology. Students who have their education in the country have so many advantages. They have smaller class sizes usually. I believe that our students deserve their very best and they need to have people who are committed to their town and committed to the future of the children. We make sure that our students have the same opportunities that they would in any town or city in Australia. I do consider myself so lucky to be here. The sense of space and, you know, I mean, it sounds kind of corny, but, you know, all the pinks and the oranges and a beautiful sky and, and um, you know, we wake up to this every day. of living in the city is about projecting your strengths and when things are going really well, you know, sort of everybody wants to be around you. Um, whereas the difference of being in a town like Moree and probably a lot of other country towns for that matter is um, that sure, you know, they will celebrate people's successes but, you know, when people really do tend to sort of rally around you or when the chips might be down or you might be going through some kind of tough time or, um, and that's when sort of you really Sort of, it's during those times that you really do get to know who your neighbour is and you get to know the community. Whereas, um, you know, the difference, like, you know, when you go through those tough times in the city, you tend to do it on your own. The best part that I like about Maury is the fact that you can, Maury is a land of opportunity and it's, it's a special place. Success is 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 celebrated in Moree, and values are completely acceptable. 
and, and, and if you turn up the Moria with nothing, well, you, you can make it. The community in Moria is so um, inclusive of everybody, you know, regardless of sort of, you know, what their background is you know, or where they've come from, which is really lovely. Extraordinary efforts to, to actually make Moria a bit of a different place and it's, uh, it's quite notable. When, when we have events, uh, you know, uh, they draw uh, people from far and wide, but they make time to come and play with us and, you know, that's what we love. We love having some good playmates here. about more is once you get to know the people here you couldn't find better people. It's just a lovely place to be.